Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel's uh, series of my gear, which uh, talks about different motorcycle gear I've used. And this time I would like to show you and talk about the Buse P54 motorcycle shoes. I purchased these for my own money in 2017. So it is not a sponsored video and I would like to show you a little bit about the shoes and what I think about them. They cost me 110 euros and I'm quite happy with it. Now they've been uh, in use for uh, four years. So I think I have a pretty good idea about them and I can show you around. Well, this is end of the season, so I have washed them already. And on the left hand side, you can see I've assembled the shoe. So the, you can see how it looks like. And on the right hand side is the shoe that I have not assembled. Just to show you the features of it and how is it been holding on during this time. Uh, they are supposed to be uh, uh, waterproof uh, shoes with a Hypora membrane inside. And here is also a label of waterproof. Well, like with all things, they are not really 100% waterproof. You can ride in the rain for an hour and your feet are uh, almost dry but after that they get damp and after three four hours i've tested this your feet are getting wet and if these shoes are completely soaked then they dry out very very uh, slowly as this is quite thick material it's very well padded all around so that's why they dry out quite slowly, but on the plus side, they are also quite warm uh, shoes to wear on a motorcycle. But they have hold, held up quite well inside. There is no tears, there is no cracks or cuts or something strange. On the outside, the shoe of course looks worn and on my left shoe, there is a tear in the corner here you can see and this is the place when you walk this is rubbing in to this uh, leather part and this wears out because the shoes the top layer is like from uh, jeans style textile uh, they are quite good and comfortable they're soft to walk like the sneakers they have a, a toe cap here inside and they have the heel protection it's quite soft the protection but there is something i assume plastic inside and then you have ankle if you can see under this puzzle logo there is a, like a disc inside and they are really perfectly placed so they actually protect the ankle and this is on both sides inner and outer sides so other things you can see obvious wear where I touch the motorcycle with, and it goes in a place where is the, the ankle protection but it doesn't wear through yet. There is some threads loose and this hole we talked about and there is this uh, 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 protection against the water coming in to the boot. This is also in a good order and I don't know if you can see inside there is a little bit of wear at the heel and on the back you have a reflective strip which also has a missing piece don't know why or when another shoe it is very good condition and generally the quality is good after four years really really wearing them they were like my main shoes when i'm riding in a city and or even in a highway on longer trips i use the boots and after all this time even the soles are in good condition 
The fabric on the soles is a little bit loose, but it has not come off and is quite comfortable. There is padding under the uh, heel. Then the laces, they are quite long because now they look a little bit normal, but if you really pull them tight, they are quite long and they are already from the box when they are brand new, quite long and they don't stretch out over time longer. So the quality of the laces is also good. The ends are still in good condition. The laces are in good condition. They hold up really, really well. So overall, I'm very happy with these boots. They cost a little bit less than equivalent, more well-known brands. But they are comfortable to wear, they are warm, mm, they keep your feet dry for yeah, for an hour maybe. And it's easy to take care of them. Uh, every end of the season I wash them uh, by hand. I use uh, the detergent gel, not the powders. And with the Hand brush, you just brush all the sand and dirt and stuff off the fabric and then I let them uh, normally dry. I don't use uh, tumble dryers or I don't put them where somewhere is uh, very hot. Just leave them in your room and let them dry out. It will take 3-4 days for them to completely dry but after that they uh, really really nice and for winter time when I don't use the boots I put something inside inside the shoe that it keeps the form and I think I can still do them because of the hole here of course they're not watertight anymore but city riding you still can do so this is my review of these boots uh, I would recommend them, they are not nothing special, mm, there is no big features about it or latest technology or so, but they are a bit, a bit cheaper than well-known brands, but they do the job quite well for the money. So I don't know if 100% recommend, but if you like this kind of style of boot, I think you could consider buying these boots. I'm not sure about the price at the moment, but uh, definitely worth to look. And Puja doesn't make only boots, they make full range of motorcycle gear, so check them out. And that is all I wanted to talk about for these boots. Thank you for watching and see you on the next My Gear videos.